So I grew up in Clarkstown, Mississippi, in the northwest part of the Delta area of Mississippi. While growing up, my parents noticed that I had a real interest in art and drawing, and they really were encouraging of that. One of the more influential things that they did was take me to this gentleman named Marshall Bolden. My parents would take me over periodically to go see him and just to watch him paint. In fact, I loved it so much that for my seven-year-old birthday, I asked if I could just go and watch Marshall paint for the day. By the time I was um, 11, I decided to do a portrait for a dear family friend of ours, and that was a pretty big success for that age. And so I decided I'd actually start doing it as commissions. By the time I got to college, around the age of 20, I was becoming full-time. So I established myself as a portrait artist, and then I really felt that I had not reached my potential, and I was going to several different conferences, and I was looking at all these other people's work. I, I realized, my gosh, that all these people had such a deeper vocabulary of painting. I was looking at this stuff going, I know that I would probably be capable of doing that, but I don't know how to get from what I'm doing now to being able to paint like that. I was able to meet a couple of people that introduced me to the Grand Central Atelier in New York, and it was one of a few places that I looked at and finally landed on, and so my wife and I moved up to New York. It is a medium of communication that is done in a poetic way. And the reason that's important is, is that we're trying to do it in such a way that taps into the emotions of our human condition. What my intent is, is if I can take this medium and I know enough about the vocabulary of it and I'm able to control it enough that I can manipulate the medium the way I want to, would allow for the viewer to feel the same thing that I'm feeling. It's an honor to be able to record humanity. I heard an instructor say one time, I'm not going to teach you to paint. I'm gonna teach you a way to paint. And that being said is, is there's so many different approaches that it's really, really good to try your hand at all of them. Because if you try your hand at one versus another, it allows for you to cross pollinate those ideas. So the way I approach portraits usually is, is that there's a process of layering. But I also really have an interest in plain air painting. That's a completely different way of painting. It's all happening in the wet and you're putting on one layer, but it all remains that same layer and you start pushing paint around and manipulating it. The light is changing constantly, clouds are moving, the waves are moving. That's a real different skill set but is quite helpful to have when you're painting portraits. So by painting a plain air piece, it is adding to your vocabulary for all the other ways that you paint. And on top of that, it allows for you to speed up your process, it forces you to make decisions and pushes your mind quickly on value, color, chroma, all of those things marrying together actually allows for you to make decisions quickly. Uh, it's easy to get caught up in the small details otherwise. 